the headmaster of the Sami Kungunu High School. And the high school is uh, one of the schools that we will be partnering with, that King David will be partnering with. And something incredibly special about the high school is that it's an interfaith high school comprised of Muslims, Christians and Jews who all work and study together and in doing so have achieved higher levels of economic prosperity and more importantly have come to understand and respect each other's cultures. And Seth, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit about how the school came together and then after that just a, a, about how the students actually get to school. Actually, the school uh, came together we came across the school was started in 1919 with a view of bringing peace. Okay. You see, before we were, we were fighting isolation, we were, we were called Christ Killers. So for us, we had to bring in these projects so that we could bring peace. There's a school, there's a health center, there's water for all people mm -hmm. so that we can uh, get together. Muslim, Christian, and here and there, and as I die. And here, our school is called Semei Kapungulu High School, the founder of the community. And uh, we actually, many students, there are, there are, two, there are 306. Mm -hmm. The majority walk distances as far as six kilometers. Wow. Six, six miles. They walk six kilometers to school and six back? No, no, no. no. Three to school and three back. Okay, okay. And actually, there are some uh, problems they encountered during the working. Okay. For, uh, for example? example, we can we have uh, a female a female girls mm -hmm. are always uh, 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 sometimes get barriers with boys who want to who always want to confuse them. The guys harass them. Harass them. They okay. don't live in, They don't. They either don't reach home or they don't reach school in time. See, that's understand. another barrier. That's one barrier. So it needs something like if we had a school bus. Yeah. So as they come here, we take them home or we go and pick them to school. And then uh, there are some problems involved in walking longer distance. Students don't concentrate them in the class. Because they're walking too far, walking you're saying? Because they're too far. Because as we approach the last lesson in the class, they'll be thinking about going home. Uh, going home, they are, and then we have natural factors like rain. You see, it's no, going to rain. As soon as we see the glass, we will start to say, "Hey, how will I reach home?" Because books always get dirty. You don't have bags to carry the books. They carry books at, at their hand, at their exposure. So rain disrupts sometimes. Books get wet. Others eat the, 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 the clothing, also get wet. So you find that they are disturbed by natural factors. Yeah. Okay. And so, on that note, Education here is more of colonial, colonial education. Okay. They don't teach people skills. They just teach them uh, just theories. Theories. They have never touched. So we want things like if we get, we get to school people like a partnership like from Guangua, who could come and then turn the economics or turn the biology yeah, mm -hmm. into practical chemistry, so that they can touch something. Yeah, mm -hmm. It's practical. Yeah. So if our biology students and your biology students could work and do research on the ground and on the nutrients yes. and how they can be more productive, how the crops could be more productive, is that something that we That's, could do? That would be so much good. And uh, okay. we, we do also do agriculture here, but you find that teachers don't take our students in the field. They just sit in the classroom. 
it's the theoretical. Theoretical. Yeah. So it would be best if we join it together. <laughs> People who are resourceful like uh, you, uh, we partner together. We, we bring our students into uh, a skillful world. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> well, Seth, thank you so much. You're welcome. And I'm looking forward to this partnership. Thank you.